the other angle we call about is called hardware efficiency because like there's also as well as energy as an emitter of carbon emissions is also what we call embodied embodied or embedded carbon so looking at this mobile phone again this emitted carbon when it was manufactured all the little components the case the chips all of it emitted carbon and it will also emit carbon when it's will be disposed of uh, very responsibly there'll also be some carbon emissions from there all of that is called the embedded or embodied carbon of of a you know all devices have this this laptop has this, this mobile phone has this then you have to ask yourself the question you know if you're a mobile if you're an application developer like what do you do with that information like how do you it's already the carbon's is already out there so what what's my you know what's my responsibility there and then we talk about this idea of hardware efficiency which is uh, use the least embodied carbon possible which for a mobile device for, which for most kind of end user devices is all about increasing the lifespan of this device the usable lifespan of this device so um this is my old phone i want i shouldn't probably wave it around to people i don't want to disparage manufacturers but this is like my old phone um, and i was forced to upgrade this to my new phone not because there's anything wrong with it it didn't break perfectly fine it's only three years old but just um the, the software i needed to use stopped working on it and that's called software-driven obsolescence. There's nothing wrong with this device, but the software I need to run doesn't work on it. So that's one angle as a software person, you can kind of make your software run on older hardware and therefore reduce the pressure that's constantly there to kind of keep on buying new devices. And in the cloud space, the general advice and the hardware efficiency is uh, an increasing server utilization. Uh, most servers, sitting at kind of relatively low rates of utilization or those although there's lots of servers out there in the world that are sitting at relatively low rates of utilization for a variety of reasons most often they're just technical architectural choices that people have made or they're making trade-offs between one thing or another thing and we just need to rebalance that trade-off to say look just increase your utilization if you're in the cloud space and you're perhaps running on a hyperscaler and you need a server it's there you can just keep on running it. You don't need to run at low utilizations. You can run at high utilizations. That's the hardware efficiency angle. But wait, why would you want to increase utilization? Wouldn't you be saving energy if you were running less? If you're running two servers at 50% each utilization, your carbon emissions, you're going to achieve the same amount of functionality if you run one server with 100% utilization and your overall carbon emissions are going to be less. So rather than running 10 servers at 10% utilization, factoring in both energy and embodied, it's just all over better to run at a high rate of utilization. Is that primarily because of the embodied carbon in all of them? Like you wouldn't have, you would only have to have one instead of nine, or is that because things become mm -hmm. more efficient when they're running at higher capacity? Yeah, there's kind of like some non-linear more you know dimensional stuff going on here but there's a little bit of what you're describing there as well which is kind of this energy proportionality principle of servers which is that you know if you're running at zero percent utilization you're not using zero percent energy you're using an amount that's not zero mm -hmm. and then the interesting thing is once you get up to kind of like 60 70 percent utilization to get from there to 100 you're not spending much more energy at all the more you use a server the more efficient it becomes at turning electricity into useful operations. So there's that, that other angle to it as well, mm. yeah.